Yeah, if you can hug this side of the road, it should be all right. There she is. So you can see where they've hit those flanges with the excavator before. Yeah. See how they're bent? We can get under there, no problem. How much room we got? You got yeah. Three yeah. That should work. I under there. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, there she be. We got to get her unstrapped, unchained. Holy so, yeah. smokes. Straight from Hecla. South Dakota. <laughs> well, it fits so on there to, nice. Huh? That's about even with the edge yeah, of the trailer right. on both sides. Uh, huh. Oh, uh, here we go. Got to get centered up here. She is huge. Goodness. Wanting to pull forward? Pull forward just a little okay. bit. Okay. All righty. All right. Now we're centered up. I think it. If he's got some other blocks or even that dunnage there, I'm just going to pick this front end up. Okay. And we'll just shove another little block under there. I almost think if you get level, you're going to okay. go all the way. All right, let's try it. Okay. I think if you just level out, go. <laughs> now tip up just a hair. Huh? Tip up just a hair. Oh, right, okay. There we go. Got another six inches. Right there. There you are. Want me to go see how far you're through? All right, we'll let all this traffic go okay. by in case it... Yeah, who knows? Okay. There we go. That's the car's going by. All right. One more car. There we go. Is it a little right? Is it right side heavy? Alrighty, good to go. Thank you. Woo, doggy. Now hopefully we don't get the forklift stuck. If we got the forklift stuck... Oh lord. I think the only thing is that tree. Looking good. Uh. Straight back. Oh, just wouldn't. You have to pull forward, get away from that tree. Just don't turn too tight. Your back tires want to dig just a little bit. Not bad, but. Real worried about getting stuck in this entry sand. Once we get over to the brome field, the grass, it'll be fine, but. Got about six inches. Now we gotta get past this tree. This is what I'm worried about. This thing gets stuck, like you said. Once it goes, there ain't no stopping it. Once it starts, it's a done deal. So, first thing is, is getting this bad boy stuck. Trying to avoid. Looks like he's past the tree. Okay, looking good.
Holy smokes. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's a big girl. Wow. She is. Holy smokes. Yeah, hopefully now we just don't get this thing stuck. Oh, oh, oh. there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Once this thing is out, we're good. It's gotta cool down. What happened? We had like cool weather in the forecast, and now nothing how big it is I have never got in it before I think I need to scoot down there do these open not only do they open oh yeah parked a little far away holy smokes let's do this there we go All right, I gotta back the truck up a little bit. These are really, really heavy. Hopefully we will have enough light. So I'm standing on a step that you actually step up on to shoot. This is the normal height. I am 6'2", so hopefully we have good enough light in here for y'all to see. Okay. This is the dog box. This is where the dog sits. Up on this platform. You can go from here to here to here or up this. This has got hooks all the way down. This is the bench where you sit. Look, it's got gun holders and your shelf for your ammo all the way down. 10 man pit blind. Holy smokes, he's got so much room. Now, first and foremost, let me sit y'all up so I can get my breath. I am so hot, I can't see straight. Look how much room's in here. Gun all the way over here. So when you shoot, you can actually check it out. You can actually step up here and really get up there. So over the last few guide years, we've had a lot of kids come that were, that were too short to see over the A-frame. This will allow kids to get up higher, you know. Normal guys, you'll be able to stand right here and start whacking on them, but holy smokes, look how big this is. All the way back here. Essentially, the outside is 35 foot long. You can definitely fit more than 10 guys in here. I mean, a lot more than 10. Wow. This is so amazing. Breakfast in the morning. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Here at Sand Hill, this has been my goal. There's no one else in Kansas or really, you know, does much at all when, when we're talking about pit blind, lessers, cacklers, pit blinds in fields for fall season. You know what I mean? You see a lot of pit blind duck, you know, up against water. You see a lot of pit blind snow goose, but you don't see a lot of pit blind lesser hunts, you know, here in Kansas especially. So I am extra excited if you cannot tell. This is a huge, huge, huge deal for me. A dream come true on the best field I could find. Let me, let me better rephrase that. The field that I've wanted to put a pit blind on forever. All of you that have been here for quite some time, 
if you all remember correctly, last season being my second, <laughs> second guide season is when I got this field right here. Now, right now this field is planted beans. That is why I'm setting it right here for now, waiting for the beans to get cut. That'll be about three weeks, I would imagine. A month, they're already kind of, leaves are already kind of turning yellow. Uh, but it's gonna be right about a month. Beans are cut, so in between beans being cut and winter wheat being planted, that's when this bad boy has to go in the ground. And let me tell you, I have picked the perfect spot for it. It's all the way out in the center of this bad boy, on the top of the hill. And naturally, when the geese are in here, that's where they always wanna be, right there on top of that hill. Last year, we hunted down this tree row in A-frames every single time. I think we still hunted this field 10, 12 times throughout the you know three and a half uh, months, but whew, I'm so jacked up. I can't even see straight, I'm sweating my you know what off. This is gonna be part one of the pit blind. Um, obviously we gotta wait a month, so. Showed you the inside, showed you the plan. Now the next part two, we'll be putting it in the ground. So next time we're here together, um, we'll be digging a hole. I'll, uh, I'll definitely bring P. Diddy and the drone. It's gonna be epic. Thank you all for being here. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be tackling my dreams and be psyched to bring this content to you every day and enjoy my job like I do to the magnitude that I do every single year trying to progress, right? Thank you all. You instill that faith in me, you instill that passion in me every single season and uh, I'm glad to be, I'm glad to be here. I couldn't be more proud. Thank you guys, subscribe if you have not, lots of content coming. Dove season fires up uh, probably tomorrow or heck, the day you're watching this, I don't even know. Uh, and then teal right after that a few days well, uh, a week later pretty much so get ready buckle up it's on Ooh, we got lookers <laughs> that truck has drove by twice looking guarantee you they know what that is they come back by we'll see if they stop this time guarantee you they don't Hi. <laughs> oh, this is what sucks. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get it in the ground today, uh, but obviously, this is the only time I could uh, find somebody to haul it. It was really, really tough finding somebody to haul this bad boy that far away. It's a ten and a half, ten hour drive, um, so you have to have DOT certified, uh, a hot shot, what they call them, and. And basically it's just someone that um, you know shoots big loads like this you know up and down uh, state to state boy that didn't sound good it sounded horrible anyways I was hoping to get in the in the ground today but with the beans not being off obviously that is not gonna happen I'm not gonna go run over all the farmer and landowners beans so I don't think anybody can steal it you know, it only weighs 11,000 pounds, but it is sitting on a busy road. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.